Sonic Adventure Episode 4! So previously on Sonic Adventure, oh. Sonic stole an ID and used it to gain access to a workplace where he took a walk around. That is literally what happened. It's a bit of a strange turn, isn't it? Considering all the cutscenes and things. And then all of a sudden we got like three um, sort of stages in a row. Hello and welcome to Sonic Does Leg Day for no apparent reason. Yeah. Why don't you check out the red twinkly bollock that might tell you what to do? Uh, because. Camera. Because this is my life now. I'm doing this. Okay. All oh, right, you need to activate it with the other switch and then. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, you got a blue oh. ring. Yeah, this is my life now. I'm, I'm Sonic the fashionista. Power up. This is the crystal ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. It's not instant like in Sonic Adventure 2, but, well, it's it's better. Is it like ready go now? I suppose I'm ready. No. Go. no. Okay, so now. Now is when I will consult the uh, red orb of tell me where the fuck to go. Mr. Ruins? Hey, listen. Amy, she's still be in this. It's got to be the other. Right, okay. Assuming you did the circuit last, uh, go back to Twinkle Park. It's got to be the other thing in Twinkle Park. Uh, the other thing in Twinkle Park. No. No? I'm not allowed in. Mm. Oh no, don't tell me this entire park's going to be us looking around going, where's Amy? It's like Taken, but a lot less no, interesting. No, because one door, the door to uh, Mystic uh, Ruins, was sealed. Sealed. So it had to be this one. As in, I had to trigger a cutscene again. Cut him off at Mystic Ruins. Okay. You could have caught the fucking thing and beat it to. At least the camera saw the points toward the stairs. Stairs. Yeah, sexy stairs. Alright, I want to try and be more forgiving this time because it's the first of its 3D adventure, brethren. It's just. It pisses me off. <laughs> it was shit. Let's, let's not. <laughs> let's beat not beat around the bush. the bush. This came out after Super Mario 64 showed people how to do 3D platformers, so there's no fucking excuse. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, like Spyro and uh, Croc to a lesser extent. Fuck those gobbos. And this is nowhere near as cool, is it? I'm not sure. I think this may have predated Spyro. Really? 1999? Well, I think it was 98 in Japan, but um, either way, yeah, Spyro was pretty late. Hey, what's happening yeah. here? Hey, what's happening here? Sonic is also a solid snake. Oh, it's the egg carrier, which no has somehow stopped stop. shading the ground. Beam me up. Energize. Stop. Yeah, like that's gonna do anything. Jump into the beam, you blue fucking twat! <laughs> Shoot! I've lost because you didn't move. I don't. I don't think he was trying. He, he really doesn't care, does he? Well, nope. It is Amy. She is incredibly clingy. I think um, Sonic's basically wanting her to uh, work Get out, kidnapped. work out her problems by herself. Can you imagine that in like Mario in, in the Mario universe? That's like Mario not going to rescue Peach after being kidnapped by Bowser. That's like fuck it, let's have a cake. Yeah, but why can't Peach just like, you know, bust bust out herself? She is pretty badass. Actually, yeah, she is. Although in the earlier games, they didn't kind of show that. It's not until like Smash Brothers and Melee, Melee and stuff like that where she got really showed how tough she is, and then she got her own game. We're going to the power up. What's this one? Super Saiyan Fabulous. This one allows you to sort of light dash into enemies. It's it's needed. You can now do the light it's speed attack. It's hardly needed anywhere but for a MacGuffin. It's, well, a, a, a thing. Where the hell is the accessory this attached? Thing. Look. Oh, right, to break this thing. Because a homing attack just wouldn't fucking do. Yeah, a homing attack wouldn't p uh, pierce the cage somehow. And we're on Red Mountain, which is a brand of coffee here in the United States of Kingdom. Hang on a minute. Was the last one stage six or stage five? I don't know. I'm genuine. I, I must say this at least once a video ever, but nobody cares. Uh, the egg Never carrier is very slowly getting away. So chase after it with conveniently placed rockets and platforming sections and giant thwomp spikes. Yeah. Rail. I jump over most of the rail because I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. And you've gone a bit... <laughs> you've gone a bit wheels. <laughs> oh, I love the world. 
Well, you know, I went to I went to university in Wales. I was there for six weeks before I even heard one Welsh accent. It was a security guard at the campus. Somebody had sounded the fire alarm, and he was all like, "Whoever's done that wants the red kick in it," and that was Wales. <laughs> so anyway, Red Mountain. It can't be as worse as when we were playing tanks. Oh, that's true. With all them accents. Yes. So, yes, this is. Um, I I don't mind this stage, to be honest. No? It's... I don't know, it's got a lot of uh, one false move and you're down a pit and dead. But, but that's Sonic Adventure for you. Yeah, th there's quite some spectacle. Yeah, I suppose I can see the whole big canyons thing and the sweeping vista there. Is this the stage's gimmick? Uh, maybe. Yeah, it's not really a big obtuse in-your-face gimmick like the other stages, though. No, no, this, this stage just has, like, two phases. Um, one out of the mountains and one in the mountain. Saying that, the um, the one where Sonic went for leg day, did that have any gimmicks? I don't remember now. I don't think it did. Running down the... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, 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 I... Running down the skyscraper was incredibly gimmicky. I suppose you could count the rockets, but we've already had those on other stages. Some yeah, they handlebars? were. And uh, what the fuck? It's it's just happy to be there. Just you're walking along some you know swinging handlebars and it's going. Ah, no. This stage though, it always reminds me of Stick Canyon from Nights into Dreams. Is that because it's in a canyon? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just, but you know, the, the, some some very similar graphics. Now I can either go around the spirally bit or. <laughs> Fuck that noise and go this way. Or shortcut. Hmm. Which is Jay going to do? Miss the extra life, that's what. <laughs> Handlebars, they're such a great idea. They are. I'm no, running not. a bike without some, them. There's something the work experience kid came up with. Is there a. Yes, there is. Can, hang on, you can manually control the camera? Yeah, but it's not actually reliable at all. It's tedious. No, that's the main character in Final Fantasy X. Yeah, tedious. This is Start our player of the Denigrant Ape. This is our Final Fantasy. Let's play. Oh God, my knees. Yeah, yeah your knees. You should you should sit straight, dude. You're yeah. gonna you're gonna ruin your your veins, and you're gonna get very close veins. So when are we gonna get like you know the lava reef stuff chasing you down? Lava reef stuff. I know, the fact that you're down. inside a giant mountain. There's lava. I would have thought we'd had like a volcanic yeah, it, lava it death does, chase. The, oh, yeah. the, the lava does rise, but it, it's it's not. Nowhere near. No, it's, okay. it's, it's just it's just not. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know the things you see. Okay. It, it's it's going to rise on one of these sections and look like it's sort of a close shave, closer than it is. There you go. All right, All right, so is this this stage's gimmick then? Meh. It's not really. Meh. It's not, is it? It's not really, but. Oh. Fuck your bloody. I like the way nose. it's mechanically it... like pulsing up though. Just burr, burr, lava, lava, mo. <laughs> there you go. All the rings. I'm wow, I, I I didn't realize I got like two hundred rings. I'm rather thinking this is classic Sonic rules in that you know. You get hit, you lose every single one. Yes. Every yes. single one. They didn't introduce that pleb tier shit until Sonic Unleashed, actually. Was it? Yeah. Pleb tier. <laughs> this is for hardcore. Get hit once, drop all your jewellery. Yeah, well, you know, I actually... Um, I'm quite an old school gamer, and uh, I don't mind if when you fuck up a game, it sort of punishes you for that. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't like it when uh, dynamic difficulty acts as a way to penalise poor players. But you just missed a checkpoint. Yeah, I was going back for that. But yeah, a one-off um, punishment for failing at what the game has um, set for you to do—that that's kind of cool. Like, like, like there. <laughs> yeah. Two hundred rings. I suppose it's not as bad as say Dark Souls, which is go back through all these enemies and pick up your shit you've just lost on the other end of the fucking world. Jay. And rocket. Again. Let's ride it again. Sorry, I was I was I was sort of checking um, the time there and realised I forgot to set the stopwatch. Never mind. Ah, we're fine. What are we at? We're at ten minutes. Ten. Jay. All right. Oh. So another. This time. is more for us uh, us recording purposes because we do chop this into parts. You may have yeah, noticed this being part yeah. four. 
for. Yes, Adam. We're such a professional outfit here. We quote ourselves in ways that other people don't care about. I don't even understand. And, All yeah. I know is that is low res as fuck, and I like it. For some reason, I don't know. It reminded me of N64 textures. Yeah, you know, I, I like low poly uh, graphics, to be honest. Mm. And I like untextured, sort of flat shaded stuff. You know, like Starwing. Mm. I, I like that kind of thing. You know, you but know unironically, I think uh, Starwing looks better than Lila Wars. Both look better than what we're about to do. <laughs> is it not going to be another. Um, it is going to be another room. Another Panzer Dragoon section. Yes. With a plane that's now stuck midair. Planes don't work like that. Oh, and you can already tell there's a chaos engine in the rudder. Chaos or propeller. Engine? Ka yeah, a chaos engine in the this propeller. Is an old Amiga game? No. <laughs> By the Bitmap Brothers? <laughs> what I meant, what wow, I meant it, was like... an emerald in the engine. But we don't have any emeralds. It's like the plane runs on games, game yeah. plane. What's <laughs> up, dog? Uh, do you like. Oops, sorry. So hang on, this is basically the same thing again. You're storming the egg carrier. Yeah, yeah. This time you won't fail because uh, upgraded tornado. Tornado Mark Two. This becomes a shitty Walker mech in the next game. Yeah, I, I don't. Right, I don't think the Sonic team knew what the fuck they were doing. No, no. You know, like after sort of. Yeah, but how much of this Sonic team is the original Sonic team? By this stage, I don't know. I know um, Takashi Izuka was around since, like, Sonic 3. He's in the credits for that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, I don't think Yasuhara was anything to do with this. Um, I don't think... Uh, what's his fucking name? No, Toshima had a lot to do with it. He went off, like, to uh, to become R2. You know, the guys that made Blinks of Time Sweeper and Pinobi, The Wings of Adventure. Mm. Uh... Yuji Naka still had a lot to do with it, but like at this point he was conceiving Choo Choo Rocket, which um, right, I'm not going to hear any arguments. Was the Dreamcast's best game, and, and it not... came free with every console, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> a lot of people were like, "Oh, yeah, it's so bad." Sega couldn't even give it away, you know. And it's like, no, you're a moron. Choo -choo Wasn't that Rocket more like showing amazing. off what the Dreamcast could do? Then do you think? Well, it was. It was, it was like online multiplayer. Was you it? Know, oh. Yeah. Yeah, they were, they, were, they were showing off. That, that was the whole big, big shitty deal there. What the fuck? Show them meets the eye. Why didn't we just use the jet engine X plane to begin with, Tails? Charging. Yeah, he had to charge it with his mobile phone charger. Oh, right. Well, it was the 90s. Oh, imagine that. You're playing a game and, you know, you sort of stay around a friend's place in game. It's like, oh, do you mind if I just use your charger from your phone, you dickhead? <laughs> to charge up your death plane? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I just keep mine in the, you know, in the basement because that makes perfect logical sense. You guys probably won't agree, but I quite like the look of the X-Jet in Sonic X. I haven't seen it. I, I, I haven't really watched much yeah, Sonic X. Yeah, you, you've brought up Sonic X almost every episode of this. This is the second the, time! The, the pair of us have remained rather quiet because... Uh, all I remember is Sonic X vaguely follows the plot line of Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 and has humans in it for no real particular reason other than Sonic is apparently trapped in our uh, I watched a couple. It was like the Chris Thorndike show featuring a few Sonic characters. I... I didn't really watch a lot of it, but most of that is because I'm I'm such a whore for DVDs, right? <laughs> You're waiting for a DVD <laughs> box set? Yeah, yeah. And that turned out to be a long wait for a bus never come. And I like that background, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah it's, it's so nice. very Patterns of Dragoons ride, to be honest. That's a good thing. There's a game ready to fire the bastard laser. Oh, yes. Yep. Target acquired. Unable to comply. Shooting in progress. <laughs> Target is almost deceased. Yeah. So you smash through Unicron's eye, then we go inside I open the matrix. I shot the motherfucker. Shoot! 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 Da -na, da -na 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 -na. Now you crash and lose your fucking emerald like a pleb. And then Robotnik's all like, lol, emerald. Here, chaos, eat that. The game. That's pretty much the entirety of the plot, isn't it? You fucking pick up an emerald, he nicks it. In fact, it should be called Sonic Lost the Game. That should be the uh, the name of it. With a nice, cool rock soundtrack. Some people are very, like, you know, 
it, it's polarizing, isn't it? Because some people really like it, some people really dislike it. I like the bits that are remixes of old Sonic music. Hmm? I... Most, mostly Sonic 3D stuff, actually. There's two or three. Wow. Ah! Sorry. Tails wow. can't stop blinking. This thing is really huge. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Sonic. It's not what she told me. No time to go up now. Now nah, Tails is sleepy. No, now he's got dust in his eyes. They tried for facial expressions, but it's almost like they'd never seen a face. <laughs> okay, Tails is supposed to be the engineer of his day, yes? He's meant to be a savant who's on par in terms of intelligence as Eggman in engineering skills. Okay, how the frick can you forget the most important and vital thing of a plane of all? It was that mode that didn't have any landing gear. Mm. You'd still add it, somehow. You'd think you'd switch back. But yeah, it's, it's like this is the bit where um, where Robotnik's like, okay, you've got a transforming doohickey. Well, big fucking deal. Look at my transforming doohickey. All right, it's the biggest penis competition, is it? It's just wings and that was. Oh wow, it changed shit. That's not really all that. Tails, come on, it just folded some fucking wings out. <laughs> it wasn't like turning from a T shape to an X. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of Dr. Robotnik. That'd be a short show. Megatron would turn up in his fusion cannon and paste him. Single blast. Fatality. Maybe. Would be worth the money. Yeah. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> show you, bring it. No, that's what I could read. <laughs> no, you breathe. Right. Now what? What's the TV going to say? TV is going to tell me lies. That's the media's job. Skydeck entrance is open. Well, that's fucking handy. Useful. Is All that the? the uh, I I think that's probably it's the stage, isn't it? This must be the way to the skydeck. Well, what what? So you go through the Metroid door to the next stage. Yeah, I think we'll do that next part though. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>